Hold on, wait, wait, wait a morning. Kevin Hart is on the phone. It gotta be seven figures or more. Hell yeah, yeah. Ke- you see Kev's the on the phone. He, you got it. Done deal. All right. Done deal. Oh, done deal. He said done deal. All right. Hit me. Out. He said done deal. <laughs> that was so grown. <laughs> we was on. What, oh, we was on. We was on, man. You said done deal. Done deal. Pastor, I was talking to my pastor. Oh, that was your pastor. No. Man, no. <laughs> about, you started to deal with the Lord. Right? No, Don't no. die on your pastor. <laughs> talking about uh, that's about the the movie. You know, we opening the night. So nice uh, school showings. We got showings tonight, and already it's uh it's booming. People it's are pre pre Yeah, yeah. That was what, about what that. are they saying, man? Well, Fandango. It's about Fandango. The tickets uh-huh. are going. All the advanced tickets are selling, which is a great sign. Uh-huh. I was talking about the movie tracking and what we track. Tracking at you know just, uh, just just conversations I need to hear. Did you all. did you hear that all that game coming out? <laughs> stuff, <I> ain't, you <laughs> the stuff first that I need person, to hear, brother. I've so. never heard the person who's starring in the movie talk about movie tracking. Well, now I'm sitting in a different seat. You yeah, know, yeah. I'm, a, I'm a producer now, so I need to know the information uh-huh. that I'm supposed to be given because my production company is involved, and the success of this movie is the success of my company. I said this this morning. You know? Every time Kev talks, I feel smarter. Yes. Hell yeah. <laughs> right, Kevin Hart is back, y'all. How Kevin y'all doing, Hart is man? back. Sound like a studio exec. It's been too long. Damn, he is Hell a studio yeah. exec. It's been too long, man. It's been too long. Hey, so I remember when you came here one of the times and you mentioned how the studio actually, the movie company pays you to promote. So mm-hmm. are you being paid to be here today? Uh no <laughs> no. <laughs> no no no, that, no, no, no. that was oh. a that was a different time you know uh, uh-huh. of course the times change you know the way movies are marketed and promoted uh, have now changed as well and you know the the studios have have gotten smarter to where now where they make the deals they incorporate a lot of stuff in the original deal uh-huh. so you're not able to go back and ask for other things based off of analytics your numbers uh-huh. your following you know all of that stuff is uh, incorporated into the original deal so no uh-huh. but you know, the conversations of the way movies are marketed, um, especially with myself included, uh-huh. um, are real conversations. So I like to make sure that we're going out and we're giving everybody a chance to see our movie. You know, we're marketing a movie to to be universal. Uh-huh. I love getting the worldwide opportunity because comedy travels. And at one point the conversation was dead because they didn't feel like it did. And that's something that I've woken up uh, uh-huh. with the success of my movie. So, you know, the the international appeal, you know, the domestic appeal, making sure that the marketing campaign uh, is not just smart, but one that grabs the attention of all, all mm-hmm. ages, all families. It's, that's something that I cater to, especially with the definition of heartbeat mm-hmm. on it now. I want the heartbeat to mean something. So, you know, with a Kevin Hart movie and a Heartbeat Productions movie, what will it mean? Mm-hmm. What can people associate that with? So this is the first one where I get to start putting that definition together. Shit, Kevin Hart, we're going to do this all. This yeah, is what this conversation about to be. It's good, man. All right, cool. It's so, a great conversation. Be, because I feel like, uh, I remember when you came and said this a few years ago, and, and social media and, and analytics and metrics and uh, algorithms and all that stuff mm-hmm. was still fresh and new. Is it because of you, you think the movie industry changed those contracts and now include in the marketing responsibility? Yeah, I, yeah. Got, a lot to, I got a lot to do. You that. did that, right? I, I have a lot to do. With okay, that. Because what, what, they, what they don't want to do, and they're smart for this, you know, you don't want to put yourself in a position to constantly have to renegotiate after you've negotiated. Uh-huh. And when I was aware of your marketing campaign is one thing, but then when I tap into what I have and what I own, that's another. Uh-huh. It was before anybody else had woke up and saw what I saw. And from a theatrical standpoint, no other actors had those numbers um, outside of The Rock and myself Uh that could actually pull those type of things off. So when, you know, other people were made aware of what I was doing, then, of course, they did it as well. Uh And rightfully so. But the studio said, "Okay, look, when we hire you, we will up the numbers, especially based on your numbers. And Uh we can can include that fee into your overall fee. So um, in all fairness, everybody still wins, but you're not able to go about it the way that I did. So, Uh you know, to be a groundbreaker or, um, you know, somebody that that's that's just changing changing the the typical way that things are done you know there's a there's a plug-in that yeah. goes with movie promotions and the plug-in is there's a talk show there's a billboard there's a radio tour uh-huh. and after that there's a premiere that used to be the plug-in well now if you notice the way movies are marketed it's it's all over. You yeah. go look up. Remember, I was popping up in movie theaters mm-hmm. way back when. I was buying fans a ticket and shaking their hands and getting popcorn way back when. That's become a part of the way 
Movies are marketed now. Mm -hmm. Studios are asking their actors to go out and engage with the people. Now, when you see me, like for night school, I was on a double-decker bus yeah. riding in the city with a megaphone, talking to people, you know, screaming in the rain. I doing... saw you out here in Times Square in front of your billboard yeah. on, on a construction lift. On a lift. construction lift, just up there at the billboard, telling people, hey, guys, this is my movie. Uh -huh. I wanted to just stand next to my billboard for a while. Finding different <laughs> ways to engage, what you realize is that this is a generation that feels like they have access to you. Yeah. This is a generation that feels like they're invested into you. In return, the visual and the immediate reaction from seeing the guy or the woman that I invest that I love is a big deal. So to not pay that any mind would be stupid. Uh. The studios now are aware of that and they're putting their actors and actresses in a position to engage more. Some like it, some don't. I choose to embrace it. Kevin Hart, man. Let's, let's keep going. I choose to embrace it. Man, I, I, we learn from you every time. I remember when, um, I'm going to take you back, Kev, when I was spitting bars, you okay. know, in Northern California, <laughs> okay. Kev. You know, okay. Don't don't test me, man. I'm Chocolate drop it. I don't want to have to bring him out today, okay. man. You okay. know? Uh, but one of the reasons why I stopped uh, rapping early on, other than I think I was as good as I could have been, um, is because of that, I was doing a back end business with my partner, King Tech, and I. So mm -hmm. we were learning about the music business back then distribution, independent distribution, marketing, so on and so mm -hmm. forth. But getting all that information, I couldn't be creative. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It was mm -hmm. kind of blocking my, at least to me, it was blocking my creative um, juices at that time. Do you ever, like, when you, you're so involved in the business, do you compartmentalize it? Like, I'm business today, I'm creative tomorrow, or? I, I don't. Okay. I don't do that. And, I, I get what you're saying and, yeah. and, and why that's even a concern. What I'm lucky and fortunate enough to be able to do is have everything in a basket but know where things are in my basket. Uh -huh. I can reach in my basket and grab anything because I'm so aware and I know because that's my, that's my thing. I'm in love with the fact that I'm really hands-on with all entities that are within the brand of Kevin Hart. Mm -hmm. I love the fact that the actor, the entertainer, has such a high level of success. The comedian, actor, entertainer is up here. But I love the fact that the business is now starting to catch up. Yeah. So my hobby is trying to make this equal to this. Mm -hmm. So the goal is to, oh, how do I keep pushing this shit up to where either it's here or it surpasses? Mm -hmm. The longevity in me and my career stands within my business, not within my talent. Yeah. The talent, they can be done with you tomorrow. Fuck him. We done. Mm. Mm. We hate him. We loved you, but I hate you now. Fuck you, Kevin Hart. Beat it. Yeah. You can be done. But if my business is so strong that I own all of the things that my talent was doing, plus the opportunities that are being created are still coming from this business, then the financial lane never ends. Uh -huh. The security within me and my career is a real one. It's not a hypothetical one. So that's why I work hard on the business. It's not it's not it's not something that's an accident. Yeah. So when I use the terms earn not given, it's real. It's earned. This whole rise to become a star, some people stop when they get there. Yeah. I'm a star. It's going to be like this forever. They're going to give me this money for movies forever. Forever. Ugh. There is no ending to this. That's not true. Mm -hmm. That shit is going to fizzle out and it's going to die. You just don't know when. Uh -huh. I've been on a fortunate roll. I can't tell you how many number one movies that, that I have. I know that with me and Will, I have uh, five. I think we got two number twos. I know that there's billions of dollars that I've grossed in the box office. Mm -hmm. Eventually, that shit will uh -huh. fizzle out. But Heartbeat Productions, by that time, is going to be so high that it won't matter because I'm creating movies for other actors outside of myself, other mm -hmm. movie stars. I'm now giving you content for you to go and be great. Uh -huh. I just want my company to have a significant play in where Hollywood stands. That's not how people think. But when you do get it, and you do understand it, you realize that you have access to it. Uh, That's the fucked up thing. So many people don't realize they have access to it. Yeah. Because you're so content and you're so okay with being a work for hire, which is fine. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. But there's another lane where you can say, yo, I love the fact that you guys hired me to do this. If I wanted to bring an idea to you guys and sell an idea, could I do that? They're going to say, yeah. So many people just don't want to ask. Uh -huh. Hey, if I wanted to, to bring you three ideas, is it possible to get like a deal with you guys for my three ideas? If I come in and pitch three great ideas, they're going to say, yeah. Uh -huh. You're in a world where content is king. 
Content is king. Content is king. king. Content is king. Kev, you you had you know I have a problem here uh, doing doing what we do sometimes because I just feel like we talk about some frivolous shit, mm-hmm. you know, and that and then it, it becomes a distraction to our community as a whole mm-hmm. when there's so much valuable information that's out there. And when I think of you, I I see that you you think on a higher level of consciousness. But yet and still, mm-hmm. you will still confront anybody that comes at you on Instagram or in these streets. So you 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 still you it's, still you still react to that. Why? It's a you 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 pick and choose when. Okay. There's a there's a high volume of it. I just told you guys. Like people there's there's a movie that forever will be the highest rated movie in the world, and that's the rise and fall of an individual. Uh. People love that movie. People love to support the rise, mm-hmm. but we really like to watch the fall. The rise is, is dope as shit. Yeah. But the real big movie is the fall. So there's a high level of negativity that comes with a certain level of success because they want to see the fall. Not because it's it's malicious, but because now, fuck, man, you you, you got too much. <laughs> yeah. I was supporting what? you and with you, but then you went and got all this shit. Mm. I knew you was whatever, but now fuck you, man. Uh. What you look at you up there all doing what you've been working hard to do? Fuck you. <laughs> so now <laughs> your plans coming together yeah, and shit. Right. Look at you now with, with coming together and, and fucking doing all this good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. I, I'm off you. Uh-huh. I don't like you. So the negativity that comes with that, you 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 get it. But every once in a while, it's okay uh-huh. to pick one apple out and just take a shot back. Is that why, like, let's say, for example, like, like I, I can't tell when to take it serious when I see you, uh, Cat Williams, make mm-hmm. a comment, and then I, I see you respond, because I know, and then you'll make a joke in the response, mm-hmm. you know, just to kind of balance out the energy. <clears throat> it, it, should we take that too seriously as an audience, or is it just comedians? I, going to- I don't. I okay. don't take it serious, because I'm not, I'm not into that space. Yeah. That's not my cup of tea. And, you know, people want to create a beef. Uh-huh. The world wants to see negativity. I don't have a problem with Kat. I don't have a fucking problem with Mike. I could care less if those relationships existed or didn't exist. I'm, I'm going to be okay either way. Are we friends or not? You, you make the choice. It doesn't matter to me. My point that I made within all of that shit that went on was I just want black people to pick what we want. That's it. Yep. It wasn't an attack on Kat directly. It was yep. about what you said about... Tiffany and Lil Rel and Gerard uh-huh. Carmichael and Hannibal Burris. And I said, I want to make black people aware that we, as a, as a whole, have spoken out loud about a particular issue. Yeah. And that issue is lack of opportunity in Hollywood. That's the issue we talked about. Those opportunities are now being given. So when those opportunities are being given, that means that we've been heard and now are making progress in creating a more diverse world uh-huh. in Hollywood. Do we want that or do we yeah. not? Because if we don't, then we just keep attacking ourselves. Yeah. Now we're being hypocrites. So I, I don't I don't care. I want to make this very clear. Uh-huh. I don't care if you're a fan of Kevin Hart. If it, if you got to the point where Kevin's not funny, yeah. fuck Kevin Hart. That's fine. That's fine. I will be okay. Trust me, I'm going to be fine. I care about what we ask for and about what I'm now in a position to do. My company is in a position to go, come on, Uh y'all. Come on, y'all. Go look at the cast of my movie Night School. Go look at how diverse that cast is. Yeah, Tiffany Haddish, Rob Riggi. um, Go look at the cast. Malcolm. Listen, (laughs) Romney Malcolm. Go look at. College boy. Go look at Malcolm Lee. Uh Uh-huh. Another black director. Go look at Will Packer. Yeah. My guy, my producer that's black. You go look at our whole fucking, our, our production. We gave, we gave our people jobs, transportation, craft services. We created opportunities. You're employing. You're employing your own. Yeah. So the ignorance that follows the fuck them, they not this, they not that, trickles down to the opportunities that are being created for the individuals that are looking for them. Uh That's what people don't see. I'm behind the curtain. 
I'm behind the curtain. I'm in the I'm rubbing the elbows with the billionaires and the, the decision makers. And they've now said, no, we're going to give Kev the power to do it. Everybody going to get back there behind that curtain. So when you do, you have to be smart with your movement while you're behind the curtain. But what we do as a people, we tear those opportunities down uh. with negativity based off of what? Mm-hmm. What's the real reason for what? negativity? Self-hate? That's where it's whatever. Define it however you want. Yeah, I just want to. I want to make it very clear once again. If you've tried to turn this into a cat and Kevin beef or a Mike and Kevin beef, that means you're not listening to me. Yeah, I want to make it very clear. I could give two shits in the barrel about those guys and their particular feelings towards me. I don't care. There's there's bigger things that I'm doing, and there's bigger goals that I'm trying to get to. Uh huh. Within those goals and within my attempt to get there, the biggest picture is changing the way that Hollywood was. Yeah. Because I heard the complaints. Comedies with the black lead actor don't translate internationally. Mm -hmm. I don't know how many I've been in, but I'm constantly over that fucking water promoting them. Night School was already released in Australia. We're already over in Australia. (laughs) They didn't do this. (laughs) This shit wasn't done. Yeah. Me and Cube started the fucking the conversation. Ice Cube. Yo, y'all got to put Rod along over here. Me and Cube sat in a meeting with a studio. We want to go international. We want the opportunity. Me and Packer would think like a man. We want a small release. Wedding Ringer, me with Screen Gems. Guys, get me over the water. I know what they say. I want the opportunity. Slowly but surely. Oh, shit. Kevin's over here. Wow. The international... Opportunities are there because the comedian in me was already doing the fucking work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't nobody see that. Don't nobody see Kevin Hart was over. I was just I was in Europe for fucking three and a half weeks. Scandinavia, Iceland. I was in fucking Iceland. (laughs) (laughs) I did a goddamn arena in Iceland. Took my black ass to the lagoon after. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing out here, but it's it's people out here. Why am I in Iceland? Because I want the people in Iceland to say, yo, that's dope as shit. He's there. Fuck, man, I, that guy's black, man. He's good. He's all right. Now, when I come and do a movie, I want to do a premiere in Iceland, Iceland. in Iceland. Scandinavia, in fucking the UK where I go back and forth to. We did three shows at the O2. Ugh. Copenhagen, Denmark. We were in Belgium. I'm not just going there just to do it. I'm going there because I want the people on the international level to say, wow, that black guy is fucking doing it. And when they see that, yeah. I can go back to the studios and go, as a black guy, I'm not only doing it, but I now want to do it here. Because my production company stands here. Mm-hmm. So with the movies that I'm giving you, I want to do something different here. What can you say when your background and the ticket sales match? The opportunities don't get given, people. They get earned. They get earned. They get fucking earned. And that's where I get upset. Because from the outside... The power of opinion is so big. It's crazy. Yeah, they tweeting, they posting, they sit. They own you, Kev. They be on you. That's how they look when they do it. Send. <laughs> Post. You got no idea what goes into this shit, man. You got you got no ideas. Yo, you got no idea. What goes How, into the a, shit on a higher level? Yeah. I just said 18 goddamn kids to college. You got no idea what it takes to pull those moves off. Mm. You got Oprah. You got Tyler. You got these people, Beyonce and Jay, on such a high level that are trying to show you yeah. that things are changing. But when, as a people, if we choose to... <laughs> do, do, do that thing right there. You're ignoring the progress. Distractions. Mm. I'm trying to mm. make you aware of the progress that's done by the individuals that are separating themselves because they're doing the work. Right. If you're not doing the work, don't be mad at the guy that is. Don't be mad at the woman that is. Mm-hmm. Be mad at yourself mm-hmm. because you could be doing the same thing. Here's the crazy thing about comedy. We all got a microphone. We all got a stage. That's the crazy thing about yeah. comedy. We all have a voice. We all have access. That's the fucking most ridiculous thing. There's stages all over. There's comedy clubs all over. Uh-huh. It's a business that will not die because there's opportunities all around. I'm not just I'm not the only comedian. I can't go down the list of how many there are. There's tons of us. I'm not the only one. Yeah. 
You telling me there's not room out here for all of us to make it? It doesn't bother y'all that we don't have our version of a Harlem Nights for this generation? Of course. That doesn't bother y'all? Yeah. That doesn't bother y'all that there's so much anger within the success of the ones that are sitting at the top that we can't... That don't bother Uh, y'all? Bothers me. Bothers me? Bothers me all the time. Why does it bother me? Because I have a business hat on. Right. I have a business hat on. When you look back then, you look at Eddie Murphy, you look at Richard Pryor, you look at Red Fox, you look at Robin Harris, you look at Dom DeLuise, you look at fucking... uh, um, what's my guy? Uh, light skin guy that was in uh, Friday. No, what's what's uh, his name? Light Ronaldo, skin. Ronaldo Ronaldo Ray. You uh-huh. go back and you really look at that movie. Charlie Murphy, Arsenio Hall. Go back and you really look at that movie. You watch it until this day, but what you watch is history. You're watching history. Chris Rock, Dave Chappelle, Mike Epps, Cat Williams, Cedric the Entertainer, Steve Harvey, Dale Huey. Uh, you can go Lil Rel, yeah. you can go Gerard Carmichael. Leslie. You can go Leslie, Leslie Jones. Jones. Yeah. You can go um, uh, Tiffany. You got uh-huh. Wanda Sykes. Monique. You got Monique. Yeah. I can keep going. There's a list. There's a fucking excellent list of talent. There's such a high level of talent. And I'm not talking about bullshit talent. Yeah. I'm talking about like whoopee go talent. Whoopi. Yeah. I'm fucking talking E-Got. about yeah. I'm talking about our generation and even some people from the older ones. There is such a ridiculous level of talent. Mm-hmm. But everybody got their eyes closed. Cause instead of focusing on what could or what can, we're focusing on what what isn't for me. Uh. Motherfucker. <laughs> 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 Kevin Hart, ladies. And gentlemen. I don't. I don't speak. I don't not speak the truth, man. Yeah. And I, I'm telling you, listen. If 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 as a world and as a people, if we don't understand that we truly have the potential to control our destiny through creating opportunities and putting action behind those creation, action, not just words. So many people are in love with words. You're mm. in love with talking. What real action? Are you putting behind the talk? So don't come at me when it comes to entertainment. Don't come at me about my craft. Don't come at me about why I sit in the chair that I sit in. Because you have no idea about the work that goes into it that sits me here consistently. Not hypothetically. Uh Consistently. You have no fucking idea. You have no idea what's going on <laughs> out here. I'm in the trenches. Fucking, I'm going to China to sit down with 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 the goddamn producers and production companies out there because I'm trying to figure out a way to get to get a black face in China. You got no idea. People aren't thinking like this. I'm thinking about the movie that I can do with a Chinese star in China. I'm going to go out there and shoot that shit for three weeks or a month. I need to build up my China audience. How do I get the people of China to go, Kevin Hart? I got to figure it out. Got to figure it out. Because if I'm releasing movies, how do my movies eventually get to the top? Like Warner Brothers' huge movies. Yeah. Like goddamn Universal and their big movies. Like Sony and their big movies, outside of these these Marvel pictures and the Fast and Furious pictures and your DC pictures, it doesn't bother you that we can't get over here the same? Who's really taking a step in the direction to change it? Question of the day. How many people really taking a step to try to change it? Yeah. The studios don't love Kevin Hart because he's whitewashed. That's not why. They love Kevin Hart because he thinks outside the box and I push them to do what they don't want to do. Uh. I push you. Yes, I know you're investing in me. Yes, I know what I can deliver on the box office. I want to push you to do different so I can create different. God damn, nobody talks to us like this. Damn. Jesus Christ. All right, okay. <laughs> All right, Kevin, but can, you, can you give us a day? Can, you, can we figure this out? Yeah. I don't want to just market the movie if you're going to send me to these same places. I'm not doing it that way. Yeah. Back me, invest me properly, and send me all over. Yeah, all right, okay. Uh, okay, we didn't plan for that within the budget. Then I don't, I can't do it properly. If you can't support me, then it's hard for me to support you. All right, well, I guess we're partners. <laughs> I guess we got to be partners. Yeah. You force that. Yeah. 
Earn, not given. Kevin Hart. Earn, not given. And that concludes our interview for today. <laughs> Yeah, no. like hey, we, we, we prepped for this we all morning. Yeah. We, we prepped for this all morning. <laughs> this is a Kev talk the right Kev here. Talk. Yeah. We prepped for this all morning. Thank Thanks. you. Hey, man. Thank I, you, Thank I you I for always, sharing. I always love coming here. You have an amazing platform. I'm going to leave on the biggest positive note that I possibly can. Listen to what I'm saying. Don't pick out what you choose to hear. Listen to what I'm saying. I am a comedian, I'm an actor, I'm fucking happy. I'm a businessman, I'm happy. I don't have time for the negativity. If you choose to be negative towards or against K Hart, you really have to reevaluate yourself. And you have to pick and choose what's going on with you. I'm over here trying to do for others at the best that I can. Can't do it by myself. Eventually you'll see that. Eventually you'll realize that. And when that light bulb goes off, I'm forever here for a conversation. If it doesn't, then the light bulb is flickering. Uh -huh. It's only on to the people that can see it. I'm not that smart. I'm not a genius, people. I just see authenticity and I see real. I challenge you to try and see the same. If you don't, then it is what it is. I can have these conversations whenever you want. Kevin Hart, man. Right. Make sure you see the film Night School in theaters this Woo! Friday. Appreciate you, family. Love you, big guy. Love you, man.